concerning the Yellowstone supervolcano. We're about to find out what's rumbling below the supervolcano. For the first time, scientists started to map what lurks beneath this uh, supervolcano, one of the 21 in the world. It's in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. We can finally see the vast subterranean systems that fuel the famous Old Faithful Geyser and other hydrothermal vents at Yellowstone National Park. And the maps will also allow us to better predict if and when a super eruption can occur in the area, something that hasn't happened in over 13,800 years. But when it did, it left behind the largest crater its kind on the planet. This is really kind of a last frontier, if you will, in Yellowstone, of being able to look at the large part that's undergoing under, underground that people have not looked at. And one of the team, Carol Finn, from U.S. Geological Survey told the media, there's just a lot we don't know, and this survey is really exciting because it's going to be the first view of a large portion of the underground system of the water underground that feeds all of the thermal features, she said. Now we know Yellowstone has 60% of the whole world's geysers and over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. She says now, you might imagine that Yellowstone supervolcano is like a supersized volcano rising up at the ground, puffing whirls of menacing smoke from its gaping mouth, but in reality it's like a giant volcano that collapsed in on itself from a vast cauldron-like depression. These depressions are called caldera, and they form when volcanoes spew so much magma during an eruption, its now empty chamber causes the whole thing to collapse like a massive sinkhole, leaving behind a massive crater. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. But it's not as like these craters have stopped exploding. The entire Yellowstone supervolcano is like a vast volcanic field covering an area of roughly 55 by 72 kilometers or 35 by 45 miles, where lava eruptions and swelling steam vents litter the otherworldly landscape. There have been three super eruptions over the past couple of million years, with the Huckleberry Ridge eruption 2.1 million years ago, the Mesa Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago, and the Lava Creek eruption about 630,000 years ago. A smaller steam explosion around 13,800 years ago left behind a 5 kilometer or 3.1 mile crater on the edge of Yellowstone Lake, which is thought to be the largest of its kind in the world. According to the Yellowstone National Park, 20 visitors uh, died during the minor explosion for general thermal vents and hot springs, the most recent in 2000, when a tourist was scalded by boiling waters as hot as 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Needless to say, this is not a place where we want to be surprised. It's time we knew exactly what's lurking below so we can do a better job at predicting these explosions, large, small, and super. The new mapping object, which got underway November 7, starting with a helicopter electromagnetic magnetic survey, which can sense even the tiniest voltages barking underground. The helicopter was fitted with a giant hoop-shaped electromagnetic system, which is suspended over Yellowstone grounds by flying around 200 feet above the surface. And not only could this equipment detect subterranean electrical activity from above the surface, it also acted like a giant x-ray machine, detecting the shapes and behaviors of things like geysers, hot springs, mud pots, steam vents, and hydrothermal explosion craters to depth of 1,500 feet. It, will, it was also able to detect where and how hot water flows beneath the surface. Finn said, nobody knows anything about the flow paths of hot water that erupts from Yellowstone's geysers. Does it travel down and back up? Does it travel laterally? We don't know. Thanks to studying carried out, this is, uh, there, 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 is there a way more magma below, is there, is that there's way more magma below Yellowstone than anyone had imagined. 
with researchers detecting a second reservoir of hot, partly molten rock underneath the more shallow magma chamber we already knew about. And as reported back in 2015, this vast reservoir lies somewhere about 12 to 27 miles beneath the supervolcano, and this new chamber could fill the Grand Canyon 11.2 times. And we don't want any of this fueling a calderic eruption without some kind of warning first. This is what Sarah Kaplan reported on Washington Post. A calderic eruption in which uh, that magma can rush to the surface would inject a thousand times more material than the 1980 eruption in Mount St. Helens, the deadliest eruption in U.S. history recently, and could create a caldera dozens of miles wide. The last time this happened was about 400, 640,000 years ago. Homo sapiens didn't even exist yet. No one is certain what causes such an eruption or when the Yellowstone supervolcano might erupt again. The mapping survey was carried by the U.S. Geological Survey, University of Wyoming and Aris University in Denmark, and uh, took four weeks and uh, informed about the future ground-based surveys around the volcanic hotspot. And we seriously cannot wait to find out uh, more about what they're going to find. This is on Science Alert, USGS, and BEC crew. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.